So I'm getting through the edit of this video and I am realizing that it might be kind of boring to some of you, but I did tell you that I was going to be sharing you the goals, the vision, mission, and uh, objectives and key results that I have planned for my business for the coming year. And uh, so I did. Some of you might kind of find it might find it kind of boring. In which case, just skip to the next day, or uh, wait for the next day. But for the rest of you who are interested, I hope I capture your attention and give you a little bit of insight. So I've had a couple people asking, "What do you do at this planning meeting that you have?" In fact, an organization actually even asked me if do an interview for them about it. So our planning meeting is uh, is set up to kind of share and revamp and chat with the office a little bit and retell each other what the vision is and what the mission is for our practice. So our, uh, our mission is to enrich people's lives so they can succeed to their greatest potential. And our vision is really set up in three parts. Number one is to be the premier provider of, uh, of eye care in the Seattle and Kirkland office, the two locations that we have. The second area is to be the, uh, the preferred source for pediatric eye care, which is uh, a service that my wife provides. And the third one is to be the preferred referral source um, for patients that have dry eye and keratoconus, uh, which includes, uh, and especially contact lenses, which includes keratoconus contact lenses and other type of irregular cornea issues um, and binocular vision issues. So that kind of lays out for us what we want to do and where we want to set our goals and our targets around. And then the next stage beyond our vision is to set up uh, something that we call our OKRs, which uh, relates to something called your objectives and your key results. So let me break those out for you. So many people set goals for what they're going to do in a new year or what they're going to do for uh, their business. I'm no different, but I just tend to call those objectives and key results. And I'll link below um, how I came up with the OKR concept. Uh, I'd love to say it was mine, but I didn't make it up. Objectives are goals, essentially the things that we're striving for or setting out to do, and the key results are the things that we can look to and say, check, I finished that, therefore I have achieved my goal. And uh, if you set your goals or your objectives so high that you can't reach them, then obviously that's uh, that, that's not ideal. And likewise, if you set them so low that you achieve every single one of them, uh, perhaps you should have uh, sought to go a little bit higher and, and more lofty. And that's where objectives and key results come in, is ideally we would achieve the key results at about a 70 to 80% uh, uh, standpoint, which means that they're high enough that we've worked hard to get them, but uh, they're not so low that we're able to slam through them. So the objectives for my office uh, relate to uh, three main areas. Number one is to grow stronger in my core business. Now this is the eye exams and contact lenses and the sale of uh, sale of eye, uh, eyeglasses and sunglasses and so forth. Uh, the key results that I have for this are that we would see more established patients, we'd be able to recall them back, uh, and I have a, a number or a percentage that that is, 80% of our established patients. 30% of our total new patients would be new, meaning that we're bringing life and vitality uh, to our practice, uh, that we would uh, you know, have a, a frame capture rate of a certain amount, and that a certain number of our patients would be contact lens wearers, meaning that we're presenting it as an option to people who may have not otherwise not considered it. Uh, the second of the objectives that we've set is to grow stronger in our specialties. Now, my practice is a specialty practice. We're called Specialty Eye Care Group. And about 50 to 60% of my day is 
referral-based patients, and that accounts for all of the four doctors that are in our office. So I want to grow stronger in our specialties and have more people referring to us. That means that our marketing needs to match up to that and so forth. So uh, I want to see a certain number of uh, ortho K patients, which is something that we do a lot of. I want to see uh, a certain volume of dry eye patients. And uh, I have a number that is specifically set up for each of those. Um, at the end of the quarter, I can say that I am XYZ percent of the way to meet that objective uh, or each of those percentages for the year. And last but not least is to grow stronger in our uh, revenue. Essentially, I want us to be good business people. I want us to be making uh, good business decisions for our practice. And uh, so to grow stronger in our revenue is an important thing. Essentially, it means that we're presenting options to people that are good for them. Whether it's a contact lens option, making sure that they know about uh, compliance and buying a year's supply of lenses, or making sure that we present sunglasses to people who need to have sunglasses, because we think that everybody should have that protective uh, mechanism. So the key results that we have for growing stronger in our revenue is uh, number one is a certain revenue per patient, indicating that we are recommending products uh, appropriately. And uh, number two is uh, that we are uh, generating a certain dollar amount per doctor day, indicating that um, you know for each of the doctors that are working that we're striving to make sure that each of us are efficient in what we're doing. So that is what objectives and key results are and uh, the way that we grade them, as I stated before, is uh, to categorize them at the end of the month and try to be within a 70 to 80 percent success rate uh, for each month and each quarter and each year. Now we have these laid out by department as well. These are mine for the practice, but each of our department has them. And uh, then each of the individuals in our practice has them and each of them supports the larger scale so that uh, we have the main objectives that are up here and the key results that come out of them. Each of our departments have their objectives and key results and then each of the individuals have them. And each of them supports upwards to, uh, to go towards and target the main objectives that we have for the year. Then on top of that, it's mission and vision. And everything drives towards the purpose that we have for our business. And with that, today's vlog is over.